Daly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Monday, April 29th, 2024. Stand up for your country. Well, it's about 80 degrees, a little, little warmer. I just checked it, about 83 here in New York. Um, and uh, I'm going out to see the Mets Cubs tonight. I got friends on both teams. Um, and then I was at the Islanders on uh, Saturday. And the reason I'm telling you this is because if I didn't have sports, I think I'd go mad, M-A-D, over this politics and world chaos and lack of leadership and dishonesty and media collapse. My world never ends, and it's all negative. But I go into the sports realm and, you know, get a little bit of relief. So that's where we're heading tonight after uh, we tape the show and do a bunch of other stuff. Poor leadership is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So over the weekend, um, about 300 people taken into custody on college campuses across the country, and they are um, protesting against Israel. Some of them are anti-Semitic. Most of them are stupid. By that, I mean they don't know anything about the conflict or the history of the region. They're out there for a big party. Their friends are this, so they do it. Very unlike Vietnam, where it was an eyewitness situation, you could see uh, what was unfolding in Southeast Asia by the soldiers coming back from that theater to my hometown, Levittown, and other places, and you could hear their stories. This is totally detached from college campuses. They don't know what's going on over there. So Arizona State, Washington University in St. Louis, Indiana University, Northeastern in Boston, Virginia Tech, uh, along with Columbia and the others you know about, NYU, the Ivy League schools, they just are allowing these protesters to do pretty much what they want. Critical mass has been reached, though, okay? And, and now they're going to have to take action. But my question is a very simple one because I am a simple man. Where is President Biden on all of this? Where? He has made one verbal statement. In Virginia, April 22nd. Roll it. Mr. President, Mr. President, what's your message to the protesters? Do you condemn the anti-Semitic protests on college campuses? I condemn the anti-Semitic protests. That's why I've set up a program to deal with that. I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians and their, how they're being... Moved. Should the Columbia University president resign? Right this way, Mr. President. I didn't know that. I'll, I'll should, have to find out more resign? about it. Well, Biden didn't send up, uh, set up any program to deal with anti-Semitic protests. That's just, be, that's just you know, another thing he just throws out there. Where, what's the program? Who's in charge of it? I never heard of it. Did you? Nobody's ever heard of it. And, oh, oh and, and, but uh, yeah, but uh, I condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians. Hey, you don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians, Mr. President. You have no idea that Hamas runs Gaza. A hundred percent that strip of territory in the Middle East, get one of your A's to show you where it is, is run by terrorists. Just like Somalia, it's the same thing. That's what we understand. And the Palestinian people who live there either do what the terrorists tell them to do, or they're killed. So, yeah, do I feel sorry for the Palestinian people who live there? I do. But if I was born into that, I would have left. I would have picked up and said, I'm not living here. I'm going somewhere else, anywhere else. But I'm not staying here. Because sooner or later, the terrorists are going to be confronted. And they brought it on themselves. Now, am I blaming the Palestinian people? I'm not blaming them. But I'm telling you, this is predictable. If you're a Nazi in 1938 and you see what your government is doing, you think it's going to come out? Okay, so <clears throat> there's a responsibility 
every human being has to protect his or herself. And the Palestinian people have not done that. Now, surely they could rise up against Hamas, but Hamas is pretty popular there. It's not like the Palestinian people hate Hamas. So that's so do you condemn me, Joe Biden? I just told you what's happening. You don't know what's happening. Oh, it's just so frustrating. Okay, so Biden has completely abdicated his responsibility in the United States to at least confront these protesters with the truth. And he doesn't want to do that. Why? Because progressive left controls him. The progressive left movement controls Biden. Not going to go against them. Never has, never will. That's why we have an open border, unfettered abortion, on and on and on and on. Okay, so the situation over there is now being what they call negotiated. Biden puts pressure on Netanyahu not to kill civilians. I would do the same thing. Sometimes in war, civilians are going to get killed. But if you can avoid killing civilians, that's better, right? Okay, here's what Biden says about Israel itself. Go. So I, what I'm calling for is for the Israelis to just call for a ceasefire, allow for the next six, eight weeks total access to all food and medicine going into the country. I've spoken with everyone from the Saudis to the Jordanians to the Egyptians. They're prepared to move in. Now, you can't do a ceasefire if, unless they release the hostages. More 100, probably about 150, some Americans, <clears throat> dual citizenship people. So okay, you're holding 150, you can't say to Hamas, oh yeah, we're gonna stop fighting if you're Israel and let humanitarian aid go in, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to release any hostages. I mean, it's just, anybody would know that except Biden doesn't know it. All right, so Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State, nobody knows him. Go out today and ask anybody you see, who's Anthony Blinken? They'll go, I don't know. Well, he's over in Saudi Arabia. The Israelis have made Hamas a ceasefire offer. Roll the tape. Now, the quickest way to bring this to an end is to get to a ceasefire and the release of hostages. Uh, Hamas has before it a proposal that is extraordinarily, extraordinarily generous uh, on the part of Israel. Did you know that? Does Biden know that? I don't even think Biden knows it. All right. Certainly the protesters don't know it. They're condemning Israel, which has just made an extraordinarily generous offer to stop hostilities with Hamas, according to Blinken. Now, caveat, the protesters don't want to know that. They just want to hate Israel. That's what progressives do. They've always done it. So, you know, you can't say, hey, did you hear about this extraordinarily generous offer on, to Hamas by Israel? Protesters care about that. All right. So let's sum this up. No leadership on Biden. Are, is anybody surprised? What issue has he led on since he's been president? Give me one. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name and town. I want to be fair. Give me one issue that Joe Biden has led on. One. Okay, that's a memo. As another critical election nears, America is gripped by anxiety. Recent studies show that 56% are feeling dread about the upcoming presidential vote in November. That's why I stand with AMAC. It's more than a senior discount organization. AMAC fights for common sense and a return to traditional American values. Visit amac.us slash O'Reilly to grab an exclusive election year special. 
a four-year AMAC membership for just $30. Members get access to money-saving benefits, the AMAC magazine, free Social Security and Medicare advice, a trusted voice in Washington, and a community of like-minded patriots. Take advantage of this election year special. Four years for just $30. Be a part of the solution. By joining AMAC, you strengthen a movement dedicated to preserving our cherished principles. Please join now at amac.us slash O'Reilly. That's amac.us slash O'Reilly. Well, let's go to the mail. Anna, concierge member, we hope you check out that program. It is insurance policy for your life. Very important that you consider concierge membership at the BillOReilly.com. The amazing thing is that most American Jews will still vote for Biden in the Democrat Party. They've always belonged to the Democrat Party, no matter if that party favors Palestine. All my Jewish neighbors in Marina Del Rey are voting for Biden. Okay. Um, e. Galen. The United Methodist Church having their conference in Charlotte, North Carolina. This week they held a demonstration in support of Palestine. One reason I am no longer a follower of the United Methodist Church. Rick Lachlan, Rochester, Minnesota. Um, I've been hearing from other news organizations that as a country we were split, similar to the years leading up to the Civil War. No, not nearly as uh, violent and intense as that. But it's disturbing the split in the country. Scott Blair, Toronto, Canada. I live in a sea of Trump haters up here. Do you have snappy comebacks to all my friends and family who, when I remind them that Biden can't put a sentence together, always ignore it and say, what about Trump? Why bother? You know, I would I don't even bother trying to convince anybody. I just say, look, I can't live with the lack of leadership. I just can't. And the record. Dan Calderado, Franklin, Massachusetts. Your analysis on hard right Republicans voting against Ukraine aid is flawed. Putin may have ideas about conquering Europe in the long term, but who is the bright bulb who threatened admitting Ukraine into NATO? Nobody. You're buying propaganda. There was no proposal to introduce Ukraine into NATO. Nobody was behind that. Everybody knows that Ukraine isn't ready for that. And nobody wanted to tee off Putin. But you're buying a propaganda. William Moreland, Gardner, Maine. Uh, Bill, you said that an organization similar to Gestapo could never happen in the USA. I sit back and watch lawfare directed at President Trump. Never say never. Come on. It's not even in the same universe. Read Killing the SS. All right. That's all I can say. Mike Murray, Dallas, Oregon. President Trump is found guilty. He will appeal. But can the state of New York hold him in jail? during that time. No. Philip Schultz, Reno, Nevada, Smart Life Tip. Go to Costco for prescription sunglasses. You'll save big money. You know, that's a good tip. I've been looking at Costco and Sam's Clubs in these places. It's worth it. It's worth it. They save you a lot of money. Bill Forrest, Woodbridge, Virginia. I saw 92-year-old Dan Rather on Sunday morning. He was asked what he thought of today's reporters. He said they are better than they were in his day. Is Dan delusional or clueless? Delusional. But he's pandering. He knows that's not true. He's just pandering. Okay, BillOReilly.com. Mom's Day. Okay, two weeks. Not Woke, our best-selling mug ever. Not Woke for Mom. And then we have Self-Reliance if you want to get her two. Dad will love them too. We got the uh, book bundle. You got witches, you got legends, you got killers, the mob, crazy horse, 33% off. Then you have uh, confronting the presidents. If you become, give mom or grandma a premium membership, you get my new book out September 10th free or any of my other books or a mug. You can get the mug, not woke free. If you become a premium or concierge member on BillOReilly.com. Don't be a poltroon, P-O-L-T. R R P O L T R O O N. Back with a final thought about the correspondence dinner. Right now, there is a silent epidemic affecting 100 million Americans that nobody is talking about. It's called fatty 
liver. We throw everything at our liver. Cholesterol, alcohol, toxins, heavy metals, satins, cigarettes. That's why so many of us have a sluggish, fatty liver that makes us gain weight, lose energy, and gives us sleeping problems. Start protecting your liver today with Liver Health Formula. It's an all-natural supplement, which contains botanicals that help recharge and protect your liver. This company already has helped more than 2 million fellow Americans with their products. So please try Liver Health Formula and receive a free bottle of nano-powered omega-3 to keep your heart healthy. Try Liver Health Formula by going to getliverhelp.com slash bill and claim your free bonus gift. That's getliverhelp.com slash bill. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes, U.S. service members, and first responders who gave their lives, those catastrophically injured in the line of duty, and homeless vets. The Foundation's gold star fallen first responder and homeless vet programs honor the sacrifices made by men who fought and died for us and women who risked their lives for our country as well. The Foundation's Never Forget program engages people in 9-11 remembrances across America with more than 80 runs, walks, and dozens of golf outings every year. The Tunnel of Towers 9-11 Institute educates kids from kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day while helping our nation keep its vow to never forget. So please support Tunnel to Towers. Donate $11 a month. Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel to Towers goes to its programs. That's T, the number two, another T, dot org. Okay, I wrote the message of the day on BillOReilly.com. That's free every morning. You can go in there on the Correspondence Dinner. As you know, I went to a lot of them. Okay, and, you know, it's the same people, the same mentality. And, um, but Fox had very little presence there. When I was there, when Fox really was at its apex, we had a, a big presence, not anymore. So Colin Joss Saturday Night Live, it looked a little shaky up there. Um, I'll just give you a sample. Go. Everything feels strange now. By a lot of measures, President Biden is having a very successful first term, but people don't seem to realize it. Like with the economy, the vibes are bad, but the numbers say it's strong. The economy is kind of like you on the steps of Air Force One. It feels like it's stumbling, but there is somehow upward progress. Okay, so Joseph is in a tough position. If you really want to see a master of work in that room, 2010 Jay Leno. Google that and you'll see the difference. You got to use visuals. You got you got to do a whole bunch of stuff. But just he was out of his elm, his comfort zone. I didn't think he did a bad job, but it was okay. Um, Then I remembered, I hearkened back to when I invited Donald Trump to the dinner, 2015. Okay. And when Trump walked in, there wasn't any negativity because he wasn't in politics then. He was thinking about it, but he was keeping it real quiet. I didn't know. So I just brought him in. He had gotten flayed in 2011 by... Obama, and I thought he might want to go back, you know, and he did. And we had a few laughs. It was no incident. Um, And then I, in the message of the day on BillOReilly.com, I tell you about, you know, my interactions with some very famous people, but it wasn't like it is now. So if you're on Fox, and Joe's poked Fox, but, you know, come on, it's low-hanging fruit at this point, right? Um, So easy to do in front of that audience. Because they're all the same. They're, the mindset is the same there. You know, they don't particularly like Joe Biden. There's nobody in there going, oh, we got to have four more years of Biden. But they hate Republicans and Trump so much. OK, that they probably the only person they wouldn't vote for would be Netanyahu. <laughs> so but it, they just the hatred. Oh, and, you know, 
That's bad. Bad for the country, bad for journalism. It's just infected and torn apart our communication system. And people make a lot of money on that. Tons of money, which is why the corporate media embraces the hatred. I mean, NBC News is directly responsible for MSNBC, the most hateful network in the history of this country. They don't care. What do they care? No. Can't justify it. There's no way. And you can, you can say, but I don't see a lot of hate on fire. There's a few, but it's not across the board. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't want to watch a, a lot of that stuff anymore. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town. Thank you very much for watching and listening to the No Spin News. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.